It is a building that has become an infamous Detroit eyesore. Now, windows shattered years ago are finally being replaced at the Michigan Central Station. It's all part of a deal billionaire Ambassador Bridge owner Maddie Maroon cut with the city to build a second bridge. And a 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell tells us many people are saying it is about time. Some jobs are best done slow, like the job of cooking ribs at Slow's Barbecue in Detroit. But when it comes to the job of fixing windows in a billionaire's building, just how slow should that job go? It's a 101-year-old shuttered train station where people arrived with a Detroit dream or left for war, vacations, and business. It symbolizes to many Detroit's great rise and fall. Most magnificent ruin in the country. It's a ruin owned by billionaire Ambassador Bridge owner Maddie Maroon, who has left it open to the elements without windows for years, creating an eyesore. Is that enough sauces? Across the street at Slow's Barbecue, there is plenty of sauce on the ribs and sauce for Maroon. I'm a Maddie Maroon skeptic. Bartender Heather Hurley says Maroon's here and their efforts to fix windows over the years have turned into a big joke. We count the windows, right? Like every week we look at the rows, so we're excited about it. If you were a billionaire, would you be so slow when it comes to fixing windows? No, I would not. So after all these years, why is Maroon finally fixing windows? It's part of a deal. Detroit agreed to trade land where Maroon wants to build another bridge for land by Riverside Park and cash. But there's a catch. He has to fix those windows this year. I spoke to Detroit International Bridge Company President Dan Stamper on the phone. He promises this time all 1,050 windows will be fixed. I asked what he wanted to say to neighbors who say it should have been done long ago. He said only, quote, tell them just ride by and look at it, end quote. It just so happens I spoke to two men who did just that with very different reactions. They should have done it about like 10 years ago. As far as I can tell, the Maroons have made a commitment and they are doing what they said they would do. And I've, I've seen several attempts at Renaissance and, you know, they were, they were still born. Uh, this time, I think there's going to be some traction to it. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.